Manipulation is one of the essential ingredients of a true experiment. Manipulation generally refers to control over the independent variable. In a true experiment, the value or level of the independent variable that a participant experiences is determined or manipulated by the researcher. It also helps to control external variables. By keeping variables of disinterest constant, we can rule out any alternative explanations they might have otherwise provided. Let's start with manipulation of the independent variable. Suppose we hypothesize that violent imagery is a direct cause of aggression. In order to test this hypothesis, we could manipulate the independent variable violent imagery by letting participants play a violent video game for either two hours, four hours, or not at all. In this case, we've created three levels of the independent variable violent imagery. The term levels nicely indicates that the independent variable is present in different ways or to different degrees in these three settings. Other frequently used terms are conditions and groups. If the independent variable is absent, this level is called the control condition or control group. In our example, this is the group that does not play the violent video game. If the independent variable is fully controlled by the researcher, it's often referred to as an experimental variable. Not all variables can be manipulated. Such variables are called individual differences variables because they're an intrinsic property of the participant. Properties like age or gender, for example, are not under the researcher's control. We can't send participants to a gender clinic and ask them to undergo a sex change so that we can investigate the effect of gender on aggression. However, some variables that seem like non-manipulable individual differences variables can be manipulated. For example, a variable like self-esteem could be manipulated by giving participants a bogus intelligence test. In one condition, participants are told they scored extremely high, thereby boosting self-esteem. In another condition, participants are told they scored far below average, decreasing their self-esteem. We can now investigate the effect of high or low self-esteem on a subsequent math test, for example. It's important to realize that manipulation can fail. Maybe the test was very easy, and therefore participants in the experimental condition didn't believe their scores were low leaving their self-esteem unaffected. We can check whether the intended level of the independent variable was actually experienced by measuring it. This is referred to as a manipulation check. It's important to perform this check, this measurement, after measuring the dependent effect variable. Otherwise, you might give away the purpose of the experiment. Asking participants about their self-esteem before the math test might lead them to question the feedback they received. Let's move on to control of the variables of disinterest. In the ideal case, each condition is entirely identical to the others, except for the independent variable. This is referred to as the ceteris paribus principle. It means all other things equal. Suppose all other properties are the same or constant, and only the independent variable differs between conditions. If we find an effect, a difference between the conditions on the dependent variable, then we can assume this effect is caused by the independent variable. Now, in physics, it's relatively easy to keep all other things equal. We can control external variables like temperature or air friction to make sure these properties don't change between individual observations and between conditions. A social scientist's job is much harder. It's impossible to control all socially and psychologically relevant aspects of a situation. Not only are there a lot more properties that could provide alternative explanations, it's often much harder to keep these variables under control. Variables that are held constant are called control variables. In our video game study, we could make sure that the wall color is the same in all conditions. We wouldn't want the wall to be a calming blue in the control condition and a bright, agitating red in the two violent gaming conditions, for example. It becomes much harder when the variables of disinterest are individual differences variables, like a participant's age or a country's average educational level. This is where randomization and matching come in, but I'll discuss both of these later. So to summarize, manipulation is about creating different levels or conditions that represent different values of the independent variable. Effectiveness of a manipulation can be assessed using a manipulation check. Control means keeping external variables the same across conditions. 
for individual differences variables, manipulation or experimental control is not possible.